Old Toe Hot Spider Stone Curse by David Sawyer. Now, there isn't many caves in Florida, and especially South Florida, but the cattlemen or crackers in masses and mainly down near DeSoto County, they would talk and speak of these older homes that had become ruins And some of the cattlemen recalled spiders as big as Goliath. The cattlemen never went to the fruit picker's prairie. They called it that. But this was a real small piece of land that was probably owned and maintained many years ago by some Native Americans. So they had heard the stories of this one Native American named Tohot. And it was said that when he was buried, he was buried with something called his spider stones. The legend was that you never take a spider stone away from Tohot's grave. They were there for the taking, but always said to give you damn bad luck, especially regarding the lust for pleasure or the lust for envy, or the lust for fortune. Tohot's grave was way out near Level Grove in an old Indian burial ground with, naturally, his active Native American ghost with its active hexes. One warm October afternoon, Whitney James was out cheating on her husband who had cheated on her right on top of old Tohot's resting place. The two went at it like dogs in a kennel that had just snuck off for a real good time. Whitney always wore these tight-fitting denim jeans. So while her and her Latin lover, soon-to-be ex-lover, were at it like hot gasoline on fireflies for four or five hours... Four to five stones just must have slid into her pants' pockets that weren't so tight when she wasn't in them. She was never looked onto after that little romp, never found to be lustfully appealing. In fact, she became an old, old, unmaidenly maid and died that way because that was the way of old Tohot's spider stones. The legend says that when Whitney died, so very few people were fond of her when she was alive that almost no one attended her funeral. Not even her own family was there. None of them showed up for even a minute. You mean half of this damned old town ain't going to show up for my sweet little Miss James's funeral? I so wonder why. That was said by Whitney's only Level Grove friend and companion, Charlie Ladybug Simmons, editor of the local paper. He said it to his secretary, Lacey, who did not take the suggestion to accompany him to the funeral. He was maybe the only person that showed up for Whitney, aside from one or two who show up for all funerals. Not even her old Latin grove romper of an ex-lover had showed up either. Old Tohot must have plagued the afterlife of so many of these ugly-on-the-inside people because it became obvious that some of his hexes were handed down through a couple generations of far-off distant cousins and not-so-far-off grandkids who suffered from bad luck of all sorts and thus continued the eight-legged, creepy-crawly curses of old Tohot's spider stones. <laughs>